Okay, we're going live now, yeah? Okay. Good afternoon to our lovely attendees. We're still waiting for more people to join. Hope you can bear with me. Good afternoon to our lovely attendees. We're still waiting for more people to join. Hope you can bear with me. Hi, welcome attendees of this webinar. We're still waiting for more attendees to join us. All right. So, welcome everyone to our very first Champaka Schools Pre University webinar for the A level program. And to those who are celebrating today, happy Vesak Day to, to all. Right. So, um, we are about to begin shortly, but just before we begin the session, I'd like to just highlight this to all uh, participants today that. Um, all of your cameras and microphones are automatically switched off throughout the entire session. And um, we have now allowed the chat box function um, to also be disabled, right? So if you have any questions, 
you can uh, send them via the Q&A function, all right? We'll begin shortly. Again, just for reminders, for inquiries, you may proceed to share them in the Q&A box throughout the presentation. So we will be addressing your questions during the Q&A session before we conclude our webinar today, okay? Right, so let's begin then, okay? The topic for our webinar today is your next step after secondary school. So first and foremost, I'd like to introduce myself. So maybe for some of you, um, it's, well, I don't really need an introduction, right? <laughs> Uh, I'd like to introduce myself as the host for this webinar. I'm Ms. Amy Kasmani. I'm the head of English department for Chimpaka International School, Damansara Heights. I'll be responsible for hosting this uh, presentation today. And with such great pleasure, I'd like to introduce to you our two speakers for this session. First up, we have Chimpaka's very own head of A-level program, Ms. Ng Mei Lin. So Ms. Mei Lin is not only leading the A-level program at Champaka, she is also our in-house chemistry expert with an impressive background of seven consecutive years, awarded the Champaka's Best Department Award for A-level with a notable record of 80% A's. As a British Chevening scholar, this master holder from University of Manchester, UK, has paved the pathway to many former Chimpakans into top universities like Cambridge, Imperial, Bristol, Manchester, just to name a few. For our second guest, uh, for our guest speaker for today, I'd like to introduce to you our mathematics expert, Mr. Samuel Locke, or better known as our dashing Mr. Sam, graduated from the University of Waterloo, Canada, and a double master holder in ma mathematics and applied statistics. He has been teaching the international syllabus for the past 16 years, where most students under his wings attended various top universities like Cambridge, Oxford, Harvard, of course, well equipped with his top recommendation. We also have with us today our admission officer, Ms. Nadia Mohammed uh, Sharifuddin, to address any inquiries with regards to admission matters. So if you'd like your question to be answered by specific panelists throughout this session, please indicate your intended panelists in your question, yeah? All right, so without further ado, I would like to hand over the session to Ms. Ng Milin. Over to you, Ms. Milin. Thank you, Ms. Amy. Welcome, everyone. Um, thank you for being here today. My name is Milin. I'm part of the A-Level Academic team we are really happy to have you here. We have about an hour together today. We have the agenda set up today. Okay, let us start by talking about the Cambridge A-Level program structure. And then we will introduce you the list of A-Level academic staffs and the subject they teach. Um, further on, we will let you know what are the subject choices available in Champaka and also how we support our students throughout the time with us. We also will talk about the super and extracurricular activities, university application, and the, our track records. Okay, and so we also will end up with a Q&A today. All right, now, um, let's, um, let's jump into it right now. Okay, please, um, Remember, okay, um, Champaka A-Level programs, we offer Cambridge A-Level program. So there are two levels to this qualification. They are advanced subsidiary, in short, we call it AS level, and A-Level, which in short, we call it A2. Students can actually take AS level subject only which contributed half a Cambridge International A-Level 
or they can take the subject to a full A-level qualification. We shall discuss further the number of subjects a student required to take later in this webinar. Okay, now let's look at um, the assessment routes that uh, Cambridge offer. Okay, we in Champaka, we follow the stage assessment route. What it means is the students will take the Cambridge AS level in one examination series and then complete the final A level in a subsequent series. It depends on the duration of the program. The students will take the AS and A2 level examination at different series as indicated in this table. For example, when a student takes the 18 months duration, he or she will take the AS examination in May, June, 2022, and AS examination in October, November, 2022. But if the student register for a 24 months duration, the AS examination will be in May, June, 2022, but the A2 examination will be in May, June 2023. It's about six months uh, different um, if you do require the extra time. There are nine subjects choices to choose from in Champaka A-level program. Of the nine subjects, six are facilitating subjects. What do you mean by facilitating subjects? Okay, these are the subjects most commonly required or preferred by university to get on a range of degree courses. The facilitating subjects that we have are biology, chemistry, mathematics, physics, further mathematics, and English literature here. For IELTS and international project qualification, I will leave it to Mr. Sam to discuss further in the later uh, session of this webinar. Okay, okay. and so uh, now let us um, move forward to look at who are the A-levels academic uh, staff. We have a total of eight teachers in our department. Okay, all the teachers are qualified with a minimum bachelor degree related to the subject. They teach. They are myself, Mr. Tiru, Mr. Lee, Mr. Sam, Mr. Manso, Miss Amy, Miss Kelsey, and Miss Jasmine. Okay. Now I would like to pass the presentation to Mr. Sam to talk more about the Champaka A level program. Over to you, Mr. Sam. Thank you very much. Okay, allow me to share my screen. Okay, um, hi everybody, um, I'm Mr. Sam. Okay, I'm the math teacher in the uh, A-level department. Okay, so first of all, students will maybe wonder how do they actually choose their subjects, okay? So uh, it is important from the beginning that students understand their subject combination uh, in order to help them achieve a better, uh, their, uh, for, to continue with their further study. Uh, you can actually choose your subject according to what you enjoy the most. You can actually choose the subject according to what you actually put at, or you can even choose the subject according to the university or a particular program that you want to study. study. Okay. This is just some of the example that uh, students actually can choose their degree according to the subject combination. For example, uh, medicines and uh, dentistry, okay, we always recommend that students to, to take uh, chemistry and biology. And uh, mathematics and physics will be uh, additional. Okay. So uh, for engineering, uh, physics and mathematics relatively will be important okay, compared to the rest. Uh, for accounting, banking or finance, mathematics will be the core. Okay, but if let's say you want to enter into a top tier university uh, like uh, LSE in UK, maybe you need to consider economics for and pure economics degree. 
Okay, but uh, if we consider law according to the UK uh, reports, okay, university reports, it did say that uh, they do not need any uh, specific subjects for the law. You are not required to actually study law subject in order to enter a law degree. In fact, according to the report from UK, which is from Russell Group, data I'll show you, okay, uh, it did say that minim, uh, about 60% of the law undergrad students are actually at minim, have minimum of one science subject during their A level. There are definitely some students have haven't make up their mind on what to do or how to actually choose their subjects. Okay. Uh, in that sense, usually we will recommend students to uh, take the golden combination, which is the uh, three science and one math. Okay, these three science one math combinations allow students to actually enter uh, various type of uh, program for different university. Although that in UK they only require minimum of three subjects, but there are some university in other side of the world. For example, National University of Singapore, that will have minimum of four subjects. Okay, so therefore, uh, it is important for students from the beginning that they understand where, which university that they want to go to, uh, which uh, program that they will want to study in order to choose their subjects. Um, not all students are actually from the science background. So, uh, and in that sense, we will recommend that students to have a uh, mathematics and or econs or business to actually uh, continue with their studies. Okay. This is uh, the from UK, uh, from UK, okay, Russell Group information. Okay, this Russell Group is actually a group of uh, UK university that actually get gather together to help to increase their, uh, rec their reputation. Okay, so in from this Russell group, the, from the report from this Russell group, they did mention that uh, what kind of subject combination that uh, will be preferable for the particular program. Okay, but in let's say you would like to explore about the choice of program that you would like to study, you can actually enter this website www.informchoice.at.uk to actually play around with the figure for their subject combination. In Champaka International Dhammasaram, we also offer uh, optional uh, subjects to, in order to prepare students for their university application. We have uh, IELTS and International Project Qualification. IELTS is actually an uh, additional uh, entrance test for English. International Project Qualification is an additional subject from Cambridge syllabus. So as long as you are uh, Champaka A level students, this, I, this IELTS program is considered free for students. Of course, you can actually opt to take the IELTS exam or not. Uh, usually, most of the UK, uh, most of the UK university they actually require IELTS qualification. And furthermore, for some program that actually require higher grade, uh, IELTS grade compared to the other program, uh, like law IELTS grade will be require a higher grade than the engineering. Now, the second uh, optional subject is international project qualification. This is one additional sub uh, subject offered by the Cambridge qualification. Okay, this international project qualification actually uh, helps students to develop their research and their academic skill. This is to act uh, the purpose of this project is to let students come up with a, a research report to actually they uh, come up with a problem or hypothesis to help them make a decision, okay, help them to uh, demonstrate uh, lab practical skill, evaluate and actually reflect on their project, what they have discovered, what, uh, what they have done to actually uh, conclude their decision, okay. This project actually have additional advantage uh, in helping students to write their personal statement, okay, as well as as a uh, extra, uh, how do I say, how extra point for the students to enter a higher tier university. 
what kind of academic support that we have offered in our school. Okay, we help our students uh, study effective uh, exam techniques, uh, study, uh, effective uh, study techniques to actually help them to prepare for their examination. We also have tutorial class for students. Okay, uh, we also help to identify students who are actually weaker uh, to uh, help them in order to prepare them for the examination. All our classes is actually a small group, uh, not more than 15 students. How do we actually mo monitor our students' uh, progress? We will have continuous assessment as monthly topical tests. Bef uh, other than that, we have our term exam, as well as our tri as, uh, trial exam before the actual exam. For the 18-month program for July uh, 20, 2021 intake, their trial exam will be on the March of 2020 um, and uh, August 2022. Okay, yeah. In order to prepare them to take, uh, to take for their final during October, November 2022. Okay. Additional academic support that we offer in school, we have a tutor duty system. Uh, each lecturer will be assigned to take care of a few students okay, to actually monitor their academic progress. Uh, this tutor also uh, responsible to prepare for the students' reference letter as well as testimony, as testimonial to prepare for their university application. Of course, we also, uh, uh, the parents can also uh, communicate with the tutor uh, for, uh, for emergency matters for uh, in order to prepare to discuss about the students' progress, okay, uh, we to talk, discuss about the strategy on how do we actually help the students to achieve their goal. And during this COVID uh, pandemic uh, period, okay, it is very difficult for the school to uh, have face-to-face -face classes. We're trying to having face-to-face -face classes whenever possible, and. On top of that, our online classes will also uh, continue as usual in order to help monitor students' uh, progress to actually make sure that they did not uh, drop out from their lessons to actually make sure the students are actually prepare their goal without, without uh, fail. In Champaka, we also offer some supercurricular activities Maybe some of you having uh, wondering what exactly is the word supercurricular activities. This word super supercurricular activities is actually uh, introduced by the uh, top tier university. They, the top tier university discover that students involved in many different kinds of uh, activities, curricular activities, but some of them are uh, maybe not relevant to their program. Okay, so for this uh, top tier university, they are they highlighted some of a few, okay, the activities they actually look into students to actually identify the students who are capable to be a leader or to actually help them uh, better during their university studies. Okay, where in our school we offer uh, students to join a community service program. Okay. Uh, the students can be joined as a uh, sport leader or even debating society, interact club. Okay. On top of that, we also prepare uh, students for uh, math mathematics and science competition. Uh, definitely students will have to have an interest to actually join the program and actually participate in the contest. Mm. We also offer first aid introductory course, okay, for the students to actually help to actually prepare themselves during when they are away from their house. Okay, we also prepare some of the mathematics uh, project such as a uh, cryptography, uh, which is an animal machine from World War II to actually introduce to them what is the meaning of cryptography, uh, what, what exactly is a GPS program, okay, GPS system to uh, I triangulate and identify our location, okay, or 
and even and many many more other extracurricular activities that we offer in Champaka in sports we have sports we have performing arts as well okay in sports we have fencing uh, water polo uh, swimming rugby handball okay uh, which is all uh, listed over here the students actually look at the program and actually join the program that they like if uh, students are actually more to performance they actually can join our music and drama or even dance club okay to act uh, to prepare themselves for their uh, personal statement or uh, be uh, have, having a more uh, exciting uh, CV on top of that in our school, we have Champaka University admission team to actually help students for their university application. The goal of this uh, admission team is to provide information at the university course for the students to actually tell them uh, what are the requirements or how what the students supposed to prepare to enter uh, UK university. We are not only talking about UK university, we also prepare students for uh, Australia, uh, America, uh, Singapore, as well as the local government university. Okay, we will guide them to prepare for their personal statement. Okay, so each student will require you to attend a personal statement workshop to help them uh, uh, help them on their personal writing skill. Okay, tutor will be assigned to write a reference letter for them. And of course, we will give consultation on how do they choose their university. Chempaka have secure offer from uh, University of Cambridge Imperial College, uh, UCL, King College, uh, and many more from a uh, more reputed, uh, reputable university. Okay. So we have uh, help. We hopefully the, we can actually add on with this. Okay, I'll pass it back to uh, Miss Mili. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Sam. Okay, um, right, let me share my screen now. Okay, um, all right. Um, now, let us now look at the track records of Champaka School. We have maintained a 100% passing rate and 60% A star or A grade since 2013. We are proud to say that we have good track records. And when we compare it with the latest um, Cambridge International A level world records, the grades for A star and A in the November 2020 exam is somewhere around 30% for uh, most of the subject and even lower for uh, business and economics. Okay, now. Um, let's look at some our two alumni here. Miss Sophia, okay, is the 2017 valedictorian. She will be graduating with a Master of Engineering this year from Imperial College London. And from Miss Chen Yen, she is the 2018 valedictorian. She will be getting her degree of law from the London School of Economics and Political Science, well known as SLSE. Okay, now um, we pick these two alumni is because just to let all of you know, both of them, when they were with us, they actually took three sciences and one match for their A level program. Okay, now um, let us uh, look at now, uh, shares uh, one of the uh, Sophia um, experience uh, when she was with us during A level. Speaking about my experience in Chipaka, I was actually a person who had never been studying in international school before. I was brought up studying in the government school since I was little. So when I first stepped into Chipaka, everything was just like a blow in my mind. It was like a very cultural shock for me because I'm not used to, you know, um, a full communication in English, arranging from the 
uh, school formal assembly, up to events, up to classroom teaching. So yeah, it gives me kind of like a good preparation for me to um, understand the culture, how the overseas uh, environment will be like, you know. Okay, um, please share. Speaking about my experience in Chipaka. Okay, um, you can actually uh, watch the uh, whole video from the link below. Um, do um, record down this link and uh, look at all the other alumni that, um, that is with Chempaka A-Level before, their journeys from A-Levels to universities. Okay, um, let us uh, move forward. Our current batch of A-Level students have also received conditional offers from pre uh, prestigious universities. Arif, Arif Hafizi gets an offer to study mechanical engineering um, at University of Cambridge. Imran and Aidan will be studying in Imperial College London. And Chloe will be studying pharmacies uh, in U University College of London. Mikhail uh, takes digital culture in King's College London. And uh, Huyun is going to University of Edinburgh to study mechanical engineer. They are all top tier university. We wish them all the best in their future study. Okay, now, um, if you need any further information, okay, um, please do contact um, either the admission team for registration, or if you need any further program information, please contact me at uh, my email address, emailing at chumpaka.edu.my, okay? Thank you for joining us, okay? Um, I will pass the mic uh, back to Miss Amy for the question and answer session. Miss Amy, over to you. All right, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Milin and Mr. Sam, for the comprehensive informative, uh, sorry, comprehensive information on our A-level program offered here in Chumpaka Damansara. So right now, our speakers will answer some of your questions sent to us during the presentation. So if you still have questions, uh, you can share it with uh, me via the Q&A um, function. So the first question we have, just a minute. Right. Um, how can we apply for scholarship with Chumpaka? Um, our panelists, is there anyone would like to take this question? Perhaps uh, Ms. Nadia, since this, um, this might relate back to uh, admission. Okay. Hi, everyone. Okay. If you want, you, if you are interested to apply a scholarship uh, for pre-U program, actually, you can drop an email to admission at edu.my. And uh, as well, we will, uh, what we call it, that we will uh, request you a few uh, documentation, especially uh, for trial result and also testimonial. Then from there, we will uh, screening your document. Then after that, we will proceed with the interview and also uh, we'll uh, buy through email actually. Mm. All right, thank you, Miss Nadia. Um, just a minute, uh, I do have a question mm -hmm. there. Okay, so next question here. Uh, what's the minimum requirement for a non-Champaka student to join the Champaka A-level program? Perhaps this question can be addressed by Ms. Melin maybe uh, as the head of uh, program. Okay, um, all right. We, um, don't really look at the minimum requirements, but we do look at your individual subjects that you want to take. Let's say, since I'm the chemistry teacher, let's say that you don't get very good grades in chemistry, um, I would advise you to um, make sure that you are able to work extra hard in order to um, get good grade for your chemistry, okay? And uh, we also, um, will prefer students uh, to have uh, uh, good grades for other subjects, okay? So that uh, they uh, will be able to um, 
catch up with the A-level program, but this is all actually uh, depending on individual. I would prefer um, you to talk to me, okay? Uh, just drop me an email, then we will meet up uh, through Zoom call so that we can advise you further. Thank okay, you, Ms. Thank Amy. you. Thank you so much, Ms. Melin. There's another question here. Uh, sorry, I can't um, put it in the, the slides. Um, will accounting be available for A-level? For the time being, the, sorry, no, we don't actually offer accounting. Um, we only offer the nine subject that we have listed just now. Right. Okay, thank you, Ms. Milin. Any more questions from our attendees today? Any more questions? Right. Uh, there's a question on fees here. Um, what about the fees? So perhaps we can get Miss Nadia to attend to this question, please. Uh, okay, for the fees, actually, uh, we have a two, uh, which is that four uh, subjects or three subjects, okay, is approximately around, uh, if I can say, is four subjects around 30,000, but it's excluded. That one is for um, uh, for four subjects, but it's excluded for additional, for example, like international projects and examining uh, uh, fees and also registration fees as well. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Ms. Nadia. Okay, um, another yes. Uh, sorry, uh, Miss Amy. Um, on top of that, the fees of actually mm -hmm. there are extra fees that is will be charged. Things like if you are taking science subjects, we will charge also laboratory yes. fees for the lab fees. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Miss Amy. Thank you for the information, Miss Millian. Right. Uh, another question. Uh, in line here for July twenty twenty one intake, would classes start off virtually? Uh, I will answer this question. Um, it is difficult for me to answer it now. Um, we will try as best as we can to do face to face, mm -hmm. unless the governments uh, say no to that, because you know the uh, MCO is still in force, so we are not allowed to go back to school. If uh, in the case of uh, MCO still in force, we will start the class virtually first. Yes, thank Maybe. you, Ms. Helen. Yes, thank you. Right. Uh, for those who are not um, part of the Chimpaka School at the moment, um, this is just to assure you that Chimpaka Schools, we have our Schoology platform. So the very moment that you are enrolled as a Chimpakan, you'll be given a, a, a Schoology account, and then all uh, virtual classes um, will be shared via your own um, Schoology courses and whatnot. So uh, I would I would really say that it's quite seamless to have all of these online classes when it comes to um, you know uh, being a Chimpaka in itself. All right, um, there's uh, more questions coming in. Okay, does Chimpaka have UCAS uh, preparation uh, period for uni applica applications? Okay, maybe I'm uh, I could obey to answer that. Okay, so for UCAS uh, preparation period, we will actually inform students about the timeline or how to, when do they supposed to do uh, their university application. Uh, usually the UCAS uh, application will be ended in a few category. Uh, first, of, first is the Oxbridge category, which is ended at every October. Another one is uh, um, uh, medicine also ended around October, and for the others program ended uh, around January. So uh, we all the all the UCAS application will be only open after July. Okay, before July we will uh, tell students about the timeline and prepare them to uh, to get them ready for their personal statement, their uh, teacher's reference letter, their testi testimonial in order to get them ready, as well as, of course, as well as the choice of the university. Right, thank you, Mr. Sam. Um, okay, there's another question here. How long are the classes? Perhaps Ms. Milin, you, uh, a question for you? 
Yes, um, the causes is actually either one period or two periods. It ranges from uh, every period is 50 uh, minutes. Okay, um, the, the range depending on the timetable. So uh, each subject, we will not give more than two periods, um, except for practical classes. Some practical classes will be three periods, uh, but you won't be bored because you'll be doing a lot of work in the laboratory. Okay, so uh, yes, uh, you will enjoy the classes, don't worry. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Something that we all should look forward to, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, um, another question here. Um, if I join the classes in July and say that my friends join in September, uh, will we be in the same class? So perhaps it's Philip? Yes, you will be in the same class uh, because the uh, uh, subject September intake actually is always the uh, intake that students only make their decision last minute. So those students who join us in September, we will give them uh, extra classes to catch up what they have missed in July and August. Uh, they do not need to worry about that. Uh, they will actually join the uh, July intake students again after they have catch up. All right. Um, I believe another question for Ms. Milin here then. Uh, will classes end at the same time every day? Okay, um, very good question, this one, okay. Um, actually, um, it depending on what subjects you take. Over in Chempaka, uh, even though it's a school, we treat you like a college uh, student. So you can on, you only need to come for the classes that you, uh, you take. The, for example, let's say you take, you take uh, physics, mathematics, okay, and uh, biology, let's say, okay. So if on Monday, um, your first class is chemistry that you don't take, okay, then you don't need to come at the, um, it, the, the class, you can come at, let's say the class of physics start at 9.30, you can come at 9.30. So let's say towards the end of the day, okay, uh, it is chemistry class again from let's say three to four o'clock, okay, you don't have classes from three o'clock onwards, you can actually leave at three o'clock, you don't need to stay in school, but we welcome you to stay in school to continue to study, we have the IB lounge for you to use anyway. All right, All right. thank you. Thank you, Ms. Millet. Okay, next question in line. Um, can we use real IGCSE grades to apply for scholarship? And if so, what is the requirement? Um, okay, actually, is will be good. Will be good, right, Miss Meeling? If you can use real IGCSE for the scholarship, because we will see uh what is the uh results and the requirement will be minimum. Uh, we need at least seven E's. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Miss Nadia. Welcome. Okay. Next question here. Um, how many periods per week are there for each subject? Okay. Depending on what subject you take, uh, those are subjects that require less uh, lessons. Okay. It will be roughly about uh, seven to eight periods. And for subjects that things like uh, economics and business, it will range between five to six periods. And a lot of the time, okay, it depending on the teacher, if, if the teacher find that uh, um, the students uh, cannot catch up or the students have a lot of questions to ask, okay, we will actually add extra periods to each subject. But for the time being, okay, um, most the science subjects we will give seven to eight periods for non-science subject is five to six periods. Right. Thank you, Ms. Melin. Okay, um, there's a question on uh, orientation here. How is the orientation carried out? Okay, um, it again, depending on whether it is face to face or uh, virtually when we start on the 1st of July. So if it's uh, virtually, we will use a Zoom to call, okay, we will have you guys, uh, I mean, the students, okay, um, to guide the students on what are the books and all those sort of thing and what are the uh, um, uh, sports or extracurricular you can join. Okay, do not worry about that. We have that all in line. 
because last year also we have to do it virtually. Uh, if it's back to school, then it is even more interesting because uh, especially those students who are not Chumpakan, you will get the chance to visit the school, you will get the chance to um, get to know each other, okay? And uh, we will have some uh, games for you guys get ready for those interesting orientation time. All right, very interesting, Miss Milin. I'm also mm -hmm. looking forward to that. <laughs> right, so um, any more questions from uh, our attendees for today? Any more questions? All right, there's a question on um, uh, scholarship application. Uh, should I apply before or after the release of IGCSE results? Okay, uh, basically like I, I'm saying just now, uh, it will be better for you to apply after, I mean, the uh, exam, actual exam result is uh, released, either SPM, IGCSE or O-level because we will see what is um, uh, your result and also the minimum requirement will be seven E's. Yeah. All right, thank you, Miss Nadia. You're welcome. Okay, uh, another question here. Outside A-level exam preparations, uh, what can uh, the students do? Um, for example, CCAs, uh, perhaps CPAC. Okay, uh, outside of the A-level exam uh, preparation, uh, a lot of times, those A-level students that we met, uh, they don't really uh, focus so much on their CCA uh, before uh, before they join their A-levels, okay? Although that a majority of the students uh, also have been very active during their secondary school days, okay? For, for those students who don't have uh, any uh, curricular activities before, we actually encourage them to have uh, to join a few during their A level period, uh, we recommended uh, maybe one uh, community service, uh, maybe uh, one activities that uh, relate to competition or preparation, one activities that actually relate to a project or exhibition. Okay, so those are the uh, projects or activity activities that actually help to demonstrate students on their. Uh, leadership as well as organizing a subject as well as uh, conducting a research or something okay we uh, the purpose of those uh, activities is actually to highlight to the university admission team uh, that uh, students are actually capable of doing something ad additional other than studies if the students already have an impressive uh, uh, extracurricular uh, activities during their secondary uh, then they have they can actually focus more on the studies during their A level. All right, thank you, Mr. Sam. Um, another question here: Besides A level exam results, what are the requirements for entering UK University? Okay, uh, to answer that, there will be a uh, really uh, long. Okay, so uh, what I can say is that for different UK, for different UK university, they may be looked into a few category. Number one, uh, students forecast result, students real result, uh, interview depends on the university program whether they need the interviews or not. Uh, teachers reference letter, students personal statement, um, and even maybe uh, uh, for some additional. Uh, information that the university require, such as uh, BMAT, uh, BMAT result or IELTS result, or something additional. Well, it depends on the requirement of the um, yes. university, right, right yeah. Mr. Sam? Okay. Yes. Uh, another question here, as A, S and A level students, uh, are we allowed to use the community facilities uh, without the permission from the CCA department or does it apply uh, the same as how we um, have right now uh, when we are in the secondary level? Um, okay, if you really need to uh, use the community uh, facilities, 
we still need to ask the CCA department's uh, permission, but the uh, that can be separately arranged. Okay, just let me know. Uh, we will let the CCA department know. All right. I hope right. that answered the question. Okay. Thank you, Miss Melin. So it looks like we we have no more questions here, unless there's um any more from uh attendees if you'd like to ask any more questions perhaps i just uh, about half a minute still if you'd like to add on to the questions any more right um one perhaps this is the one one, one last question i i'm guessing uh will there be any activities uh such as sports house um, activities uh, uh, for Bruang, Teladang, like how um, the others are joining during secondary years? Uh, yes, okay, you are still assigned the uh, uh, sports house, so you will belong to a certain sports house. I believe for, uh, if you are a Chumpakan, you know that we have sport, uh, four sports house, you will still belong to the same sports house if you are a Chumpakan. For non Chumpakans, okay, when you first join our um, A levels, you will be given a sports house. All right. Thank you, Ms. Minnell. Oh, I think that's one last question. I think we can take this one very last question. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Do we have the same holiday as normal Chimpakins? Very good question. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Um, depending on which program you take. Mm. Okay. If you take the 18 months program, Okay, uh, just to let all of you know, whether you are taking an 18 months, 21 months, or 24 months program, the teaching hours will remain the same. So meaning, if you are taking 18 months program, your um, holidays will be shortened. Meaning, in August, if you normally have a five weeks holidays, it will be shortened to one week. And for your December holidays, it will be shortened to only two weeks. Then only we can give you the same teaching hours. But if you are taking the 24 months program, yes, you will have the same holidays as what you have before. Okay, right. So thank you, Ms. Melin. I believe that uh, wraps up our Q&A session. So if you have any further um, inquiry that you'd like for our attendees to, or sorry, our panelists to answer, uh, you, just a minute, okay. So you can um, reach, uh, sorry, feel free to reach us um, at the contact information uh, that is displayed on screen. So of course, yes, you can, uh, if you are a Chimpakan, definitely you can just approach any of us at any given time. Uh, and of course, you can email uh, the best uh, channel, of course, uh, via email. So you can just email to us um, at admissions at chumpaka.edu.my uh, for admissions inquiry. And you can also uh, email to Ms. Maylin herself at ngmaylin at chumpaka.edu.my for any inquiry pertaining to your, uh, the program. Right. Um, looks like that we have come to the end of this webinar. So. Um, of course, just a bit of a reminder, so our next intake commences on the 1st July 2021. So registration closes on the 25th of June 2021. So of course, if you'd like to secure your place uh, with us, uh, be sure to um, send your inquiries uh, and everything to Miss Nadia um, the moment you've made your decision. All right. Okay, so thank you very much, uh, Ms. Ng Milin and Mr. Samuel Locke for such an informative um, presentation from both of you for our A-level program. So I hope that uh, our students will benefit from this session and they have, find, uh, they have found the, the information very useful for them as well um, to make their decision. And of course, uh, to our lovely attendees for today, Thank you very much for joining us. And I, I do hope to see you very soon in the future uh, in other of our um, webinars uh, for our PU A-level. All right, so um, I believe that's it. So thank you very much, everyone. 
So take care, stay safe, and yes, please, do take good care of yourself. All right, until we see you again, bye.